Yo, what's up guys? Bill here, Classic Rock and Metal Review. Got a, something a little off the beaten track for you is Concert Review. This one's for Gordon Lightfoot. This was from July 18th, 2022. Ocean City, New Jersey at the Ocean City Music Pier. It's a grand old place. I think it's been there about 100 years or so. Uh, yeah, that's right. Not everything I listen to is metal, as you can see by this review. Um, We'll get into the set list. I'll give you a brief little background on Gordon Lightfoot. He's basically considered a national treasure in Canada, singer-songwriter. Guy's been around for 80 strong years. That's the name of the tour, 80 years strong. Uh, anyway, if you before we get started, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. Hope everyone's doing good, having a good summer. Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, I mean, what else can you say? This guy's been around since, uh, he's been performing since the 50s, which is just like freaking mind-blowing. I mean, you know, this guy's been, I mean, he might have just been starting out, but he started out back when Elvis was just getting popular. And that, just thinking about something like that is just like so crazy. He's 83 years old now. God bless him. Good little show at an old little music uh, theater sort of... Uh, I guess you call it a theater. Um, so basically, he's born in Ontario, 1938. Uh, got his start in the late 50s into the early 60s in the big folk scene that was happening in North America. Made his way to California. I, I can't think of it. You know, I was doing a little research on him because I, you know, even though I've been a fan of him for a long time, uh, biographer Nicholas Jennings wrote. Quote, and I quote, his name is synonymous with timeless songs about trains and shipwrecks, rivers and highways, lovers and loneliness. And I hate to, you know, quote other people doing a review like this, but it just totally fits the bill. Um, his songs have been covered by everyone from Elvis Presley, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Eric Clapton, The Grateful Dead. So, you know, if you don't know much about Gordon Lightfoot, I don't blame you. He doesn't get a whole lot of airplay these days, especially. Got a lot in the 70s, and that was really it for him as far as, you know, getting on, getting on the radio. Maybe into the 80s, you'd hear him here and there. Uh, but between 1966 and 75, he recorded 11 albums, so over an album per year for those, uh, for those nine, nine or ten years there. Biggest success was, like I said, was probably in the 70s, uh, the song Sundown. It's the title track off of off of this album. Um, he also had a couple other hits in If You Could Read My Mind, which has been covered pretty recently by a couple of different people the last 15 or 20 years. Uh, you probably know those versions better than his own. A couple other hits, Carefree Highway and a song called Beautiful, another ballad. Uh, but not really like a powerhouse as far as the hits go. I can tell you one thing though. Um, in 1975, he recorded, uh, or sort of re-recorded, a lot of his 60s, biggest songs from the 60s, uh, and put them on an album with his biggest songs from, the, from 70 to 75, and it's called Gord's Gold. If you're going to have one album from him, you know, it's got to be this one. Uh, it's a double album on a single CD, so I think they had to admit, uh, omit one of the songs from the double album to, to make this disc a single disc. It is just a consistently interesting, good listen, good songs. And you know, what was really cool, cool about this was, and you know, I'm, typically if I hear the, the words re-recorded songs, it's a total turn off. I had a couple, I've had a couple of CDs over the years. I think it was Gary Puckett, he re-recorded his songs, so, you know, it's like some of these artists, they own the rights to the songs themselves, but not the original recordings. So if they want to release, like, a best of, they have to re-record the songs, and it's just so obvious that they're not their original records. The Fix is another band that lost the rights to their early albums, a couple other early albums. So when they went, wanted to put out a greatest hits, they had to re-record the songs, you know, as a version of Red Skies out there that's, you know, just not the original. So you're getting my point. Uh, but in this case, Gordon Lightfoot re-recorded about 10 songs from the 60s to make the Gord's Gold album, which, like I said, is a compilation. But this was genius because now everything on this album, even the songs from the 60s, all sound like they, record, they were recorded in the 70s, which they were. He recorded them in 75 for the album. 
but they sound very true to the second half of the album that was a compilation of his greatest hits from 70 to 75. So the album is just sounds it just sounds awesome. I, I haven't even heard the original versions of those 60s songs. I don't even desire to. It's just that great of an album. A uh, little weird seeing them in the summer, I gotta admit. When I think of Gordon Lightfoot, I think of a fireplace, a beer, a whiskey, not typically, uh, you know, an amphitheater by the ocean. And he even made the same comment himself, so that was kind of cool. Uh, so we'll go down the, the set list for him. Um, and I have to say, just in generally speaking, of course, you know, he's 83 years old. Uh, doesn't really have a whole lot of wind in the sails as far as like a strong voice anymore. Uh, but the guitar playing sounds great. He's got a backing band behind him, drummer, bassist, guitarist, and a keyboard player. And no one else is playing acoustic except for Gordon. The acoustic playing still sounds great. Uh, he mentioned that he broke his wrist last year and had to drop a couple songs from the set list. But overall, he still played 15 songs. You know, pretty impressive, man. Gotta really say it. Um, so, starts out with uh, some older stuff, or actually some newer stuff. If it's not from Gord's Gold, I don't know it real well, to be honest with you. Even though I've had one or two other albums, they were from the 70s. Sundown and Summertime Dream. But anyway, so a couple songs I wasn't too familiar with. Uh, the Watchman's Gone. Too many clues in the room, or in this room. Everything sounded good. I mean, really, it has such a consistent style to them. Then a song called Now and Then. Wasn't too familiar with either of those three songs, but uh, everything sounded good. Then into uh, Ribbon of Darkness, which is a great one off Gord's Gold. Also Sundown, like I said, title track from that album. I believe that album's from 75. Uh, 14 Karat Gold, wasn't familiar with that song. Uh, but then we get, the rest of the way, we get a lot of songs from Gord's Gold. You got If You Could Read My Mind, which sounded awesome. And I have to say, it was really cool. To, there was a lot of love for Gord in the room. Like I said, it doesn't quite have the, uh, the strong voice anymore. But, you know, it, it didn't really matter, man. People were just glad to see this, like, living legend there. After If You Could Read My Mind, it does one called Make Way for the Lady. And then another called Home from the, Home from the Forest. A couple good ones. Beautiful. Sounded great. Kind of forgot about that song. Sounded good. And Song for a Winter's Night. Really just love that song. You know, it's one of the standouts. I mean, it's 20 some songs on Gord's Gold, and Song for a Winter's Night's a, a standout. Not a hit, but standout song. Then into Carefree Highway. This was awesome. Always love that one. Uh, and then he talks about, you know, the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Tragic uh, boat. Our shipping disaster in the Great Lakes from the 70s. Um, he basically just goes on a little spiel about it, which was kind of cool. Uh, tells a little bit about the story of it and that he wrote the song because he didn't want those sailors to be forgotten. Um, it's a pretty popular story about that wreck now these days, but um, you know, for a while there it was sort of lingering. As he didn't want it to be forgotten was the basic uh, reason he wrote the song, and it's a great one. Uh, and then, then he comes out, uh, for a finale, does Early Morning Rain, which Elvis covered. Elvis does a great version of this in the 70s. Um, and then for an encore, he does Rainy Day People, and that's it. That's our 15 songs from Gordon Lightfoot. Like I said, Living Legend, National Treasure in Canada. Uh, it was a good show. I mean, you know, he's not, obviously not anywhere near his prime anymore, but he still sound pretty good. You got to give it to the dude. He's approaching 84. Getting up there, his guitar playing still sounds good. Band sounds awesome. Band sounds exactly like they do on Gord's Gold, which is they just sit in the pocket and do what you want them to do, which is sounds like the original uh, Gord's Gold recordings. Anyway, that'll do it for this one, guys. Have a good day. Have a good rest of the summer. If you're liking stuff here, you can like and subscribe. That'd be great. All right, appreciate everyone that's uh, hanging in there with us, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.